people that can even step to you or interact with you or get in your field at all are people that you allow into your field or people that are resonating on a frequency that vibrates at a resonance that's similar to yours. Otherwise, they can't even get in, get anywhere near you. It's kind of like uh, what, what I'm telling you that you need to do is become the hub of a wheel, like you're the central fugal point or the focus point of a wheel. The wheel is the unmoved, is the unmoved mover. The hub or center of a wheel is the unmoved mover. It looks like it's not moving at all, but it's, it's spinning all of the energy, and it is doing all of the moving, and it's making everything happen. And anything that try, it's kind of like being a child at a playground. I forget what this little merry-go-round thing is that people, um, the children, it's, it's flat on the ground, and children will grab it and run around in circles to push it, and children try to jump on it and jump off of it while it's going. The people that are trying to jump into the wheel as it's spinning are the ones that can get hurt if they do not synchronize properly with this spinning wheel to jump into it. The people that are sitting in the dead center of the wheel look kind of like they're not moving, but everything is coming from there. The center point or the focal point, which is you, is the power point. And I'm trying to help you comprehend the power that you are and the power that you have, okay? So you have to um, pull these lines closer together. Um, this, this, these field of lines closer together so that they can be stronger. Because right now, a lot of our people are weak, and the reason you're weak is because your energy fields that you've been led to not believe in and you've been giving all your power somewhere else as opposed to building up your own, your energy fields have this circle of lines spread far apart. And the further apart these lines are, the weaker this energy field that some people call an aura is. Now, when the energy field is weak like that, you're going to have problems. And that's why we stay in so much trouble. We have these weak energy fields because we haven't been told or taught, one, that we have it, two, that it matters, three, how to build it, because four, we've been told to just, just pray to Jesus, honey, and he'll fix everything. Just call on Jesus, and he'll take care of it for you. He'll make it right. No, you need to work on making it right. Because if you buy into Jesus, he says, you, anything I can do, you can do also, okay? Now, if you take, for example, a couple of things and you rub them together, which is one of the reasons why these very people have a tendency to try to use sex magic, but they use it wrong and, and they invert it um, because what, a lot of what they're doing is causing the kundalini to, to spiral in reverse. You know, if you, if you have the, your, your power spinning in reverse, it's not going to help you. It's going to help other people keep you subjected and subjugated um, um, to a lot of uh, nonsense. Now, what I want you guys to do is uh, kind of comprehend what we're talking about. Um, but the easiest way that you can start to start amplifying your power is, one, changing the way you think, and I'll elaborate more on that um, not next Thursday because that's going to be a y'all call me in and curse me out or whatever call. Thursday, um, but the Thursday after that, I have to work on the way you think, and right now I'm just giving you some basic science of energy so you know what it is and understand how it moves and how you move and breathe and have your whole being in, inside of energy, and you have the power to move it and manipulate it. Now, the other fastest way to acquire power is your breathing, the way you breathe, how deep your breath is. The, you know, because uh, a lot of people are not aware, there are several ways to purify the body and eliminate waste product from the body. Perspiration is one way, and a lot of waste comes through the skin. Um, urinating and fecal matter or bowel movements are another way, but not very much waste comes out of the body that way. Most of the body's waste material is eliminated through your breathing. Just through your breath. Okay? Um, having said that, because we're almost done, does anybody have a question? Now, some people have my breathing, uh, my breathing charts and my breathing information. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a couple of <clears throat> breathing sounds that I want you to start practicing with. The first sound is a sound that is uni uh, it's almost a universal sound for energy. It is a way to acquire energy. And the sound is... Uh, and I, you know, absolve me for those of you that have your mics on. I probably hurt your ears. The letter, the, the letters are A H. Ah. If you sit up and just go ah uh, and repeat that sound, that will increase the amount of energy that you have, especially when you're like tired or what have you. That will increase your energy. Now, if you are upset or stressed out, there are two ways that you can immediately calm yourself in the way you feel. One is to think about something or someone that makes you smile, like a, a beautiful little baby that you know. And every time you look at this child, every time you think about this child, this baby just makes you smile. Another way is to, to, to re repeat nine times the sound Ma Ma M A like mama M A repeating the sound ma nine times will increase your amount of com comfort almost instantaneously it will make you feel better and if you re repeat the sound ma nine times while at the same time thinking of that whatever it is that makes you smile that no matter what's going on or how angry you are or how you're feeling, just thinking of this whatever or looking at this whatever makes you smile. That is the way to take yourself out of a place of distress and put yourself into a place of immediate instant comfort. Okay? So I've given you two sounds. Um, one is ah, A-H, which will amplify and increase your energy, and one is ma, Repeat it nine times and thinking about someone that makes you smile to increase your state of mind and the level of comfort that you are feeling at any given time. Okay? Now, there are other um, sounds that I'm going to give you as we go on um, that will have more to do with your um, physical. I'm going to give you one more sound. And this sound clears up chaotic thoughts. When you, you can't think straight and your whole thoughts can become discombobulated, maybe... You know, somebody just had an auto, you just had an auto accident or, or you just heard that, some, you know, somebody close to you got shot and you're all, your whole mind is at a scatter point. Now, when you get to that point, there is a sound that will clear any upset or chaotic conditions in your mind when your emotions just come so discombobulated. And that sound is... Err. Spell U R R. Err. Now, those are the only sounds I can give you at this point because we only have like four minutes left in the show. But I want you to work on those three sounds for the next two weeks because next Thursday, you know what? Two weeks, huh? See, see, I just committed myself to doing a second show. All right, um, because you know that's how the oncasters work. I'm gonna follow that. I'm gonna follow that um, logic because I spoke it out. That must be what I'm supposed to do. Which means I'm gonna do next Thursday's show. I'm gonna open it up for any kind of question, complaint, comment, curse me out, agree with me, don't agree with me, whatever. You can say whatever you want to say. Next Thursday, that's what the call is going to be about. But Thursday after that, which means I'm going to do another show in the back-to-back, -back, then I will give you some uh, additional sounds, and I will give you some additional ways to amplify and increase your power. It is easier than you think, and especially if you're melanin rich. There are other breathing techniques that I will give, um, but I'm, I'm trying to give it to you the easiest, fastest way I can do it, because these people are out here crazy. They're trying to kill us all. And they're not going to have their way if I have anything to do with it. Now, if nobody wants to help, 
then Yasa's out of here, and I'm not trying to come back. I'm, I don't want to come back. You know, as long as these people in charge stay in charge with their child molesting, blood ritual, kill, torment, torture, rape, molest, sodomize, uh, murder, uh, incarcerate, lie, frame, uh, set up, whatever this nonsense is that they're on, on some whole agenda with multiple agendas that have nothing to do with real life and getting along with earth, nature, any other people or anything else, I can't be bothered. I, obviously, I came back here to provide this information, but I'm out of here. If we can't fix this, I'm out of here and I'm not coming back this time. So having said that, um, it's too late to take any calls or questions. I appreciate your listening. Uh, again, my website is yasabay.com. That's Y-A-S.